Welcome to the Rory Academy YouTube channel. We share valuable information about power electronics technology and its emerging applications. Today, we will focus on the power electronics technology associated with Tesla Model Y. Specifically, we will be looking at the inverter structure in a Tesla Model Y and comparing with the inverter structure present in a Volkswagen ID Buzz. The 4680 based battery pack of the Tesla Model Y is rated at 400 volts, which is floor mounted in the vehicle. Also, the rear drive unit is located between the rear wheels of the Tesla Model Y, while the front drive unit, if equipped, is located between the front wheels. These drive units through the inverter topology, they convert the direct current from the high voltage battery pack into a three phase alternating current that powers the wheels. Tesla Model Y inverter consists of 24 silicon carbide MOSFETs rated at 650 volts. The Tesla Model Y uses a three-phase, two-level inverter topology with an input battery voltage of 400 volts. This topology consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. As mentioned previously, the conventional three-phase, two-level inverter consists of a DC link voltage and six switching power semiconductor devices. In this case, a conventional two-level inverter structure with four MOSFETs paralleled per switching device to handle the high current. The inverter switches four MOSFETs per device by applying gate source voltage to the gate terminal. Now, we look at the inverter structure of the Volkswagen ID Buzz. So basically, the Volkswagen ID Buzz is developed based on the new modular electric drive matrix, MEB, platform. The architecture of the MEB consists of the drive units and the battery pack configuration. Volkswagen ID Buzz boasts an impressive dual motor setup that puts out a robust 369 horsepower, equivalent to 275 kilowatts. The front axle drive is equipped with an efficient asynchronous motor, an integrated one-speed gearbox, and a power electronics converter unit. It delivers a maximum power of 80 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 134 newton meters. On the other hand, the rear axle drive features a powerful permanent magnet synchronous motor, an integrated one-speed gearbox, and a power electronics converter unit with a maximum power of 240 kilowatts and a maximum torque of 560 newton meters. The Volkswagen ID Buzz Pro is equipped with a 350 volt lithium ion battery with a total capacity of 82 kilowatt hours. The usable capacity is 77 kilowatt hours, providing a range of approximately 210 miles on a full charge. Deep dive into the MEB front axle drive unit of the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Firstly, let's examine the rotating component of the electric motor in the front axle drive. This component consists of the coaxial shaft, bearing shield, resolver, and rotor. Then, the stationary part of the electric motor, which is mainly the stator, cooling jacket, and motor housing. We have the integrated one-speed gearbox system with the gear set and gearbox housing highlighted. Then, we have the power electronics inverter unit. Also, taking a deep dive into the MEB rear axle drive unit of the Volkswagen ID Buzz. Now, the main components of the rear ale drive unit are the power electronics inverter unit, motor housing, the rotor and the stator of the permanent magnet synchronous motor, the heat sink of the motor, and the integrated one-speed gearbox system. The gear set and gearbox housing are highlighted. The inverter consists of three stages. The first is the input stage which outputs a DC voltage from the battery pack and consists of several capacitors and EMI filters. The second stage involves DC to DC conversion using a DC link capacitor which filters and smooths out the DC voltage on the DC bus rails. The last stage, which is the inverter stage, initiates conversion via high-frequency switching and delivers the inverted power to the load electric motor. After understanding the structure of the inverter topology and its main stages, the DC bus bar stage, DC link stage, and the inverter stage, the inverter is disassembled to reveal its controller board filter unit, IGBT module, cooling plate, intermediate circuit capacitor, gate driver board, power rails, and inverter housing. Let's compare the main differences between the Tesla Model Y inverter and Volkswagen ID Buzz inverter structures. The power rating of the Tesla Model Y inverter is about 250 kilowatts, while on the other hand, 
the power rating of the Volkswagen ID Buzz is about 104 kilowatts to the 230 kilowatts, depending on the version, which implies that more current is required for the Tesla Model Y inverter than the ID Buzz inverter. Another major difference is the type and number of semiconductor devices deployed in these inverter structures. We have 24 silicon carbide MOSFET devices paralleled into switching blocks with four MOSFETs each in the Tesla Model Y inverter. While the Volkswagen ID Buzz inverter consists of a single IGBT module. Based on the high quantity of discrete MOSFET devices in the Tesla Model Y inverter, the inverter structure is more complex and is more susceptible to MOSFET device failure, therefore, slightly affects its reliability. On the other hand, the inverter structure of the Volkswagen ID Buzz is simpler and less susceptible to device failure due to reduced semiconductor devices. We will continue from here next time. Thanks so much for your time and patience. Always remember that we value your comments, suggestions, and opinions on the presented content. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for your support.